I'm going to just put it down. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you're saying the officers showed up yes. after the security guard? After they, they held me for four hours. So they held me for four hours, and I was telling the nurse, nurse, I want to see your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. They denied me seeing the supervisor okay. until finally the doctor came, and the doctor told them they had to release me. But I was telling them all along, I need to see the supervisor. I need to talk to somebody in charge because you guys are violating my rights by not letting me use the bathroom or use my phone. And then, yeah. And so they had me in restraints on the bed like this for about four hours. But they assaulted me when they put me in restraints. What were you doing during that time? Nothing. Were you assisting? Not at all. So that's why they had to release me, you know. And then they put a spit mac on me when I didn't even spit on any of them. What's all this? This is from them. This is from them. All these marks. All these marks in my hand. Can I take a photo? Yes, sir. And I, I wrote it all down, too, so I have it all written down. Okay. And I'm going to talk to my lawyers, too. So I have here, and then here, and then on this side, too. And then on my body, too. Can I see your piece? Yes, sir. I'm going to do one arm. Yes, sir. Getting a lot of updates right now. And I don't know, I can take off my shirt and all this stuff. So, do you mind if I take off my shirt? Let's see this one first. Okay. So, oh, I, I don't even know what marks I have on my back, you know, but like on here. Because they were pushing my, my head down when they handcuffed me. And then when they handcuffed me, they put my arms all the way up like this to screw up my shoulder. Put it back. Okay, so, so you understand that that's part of if they're doing any evaluation. So if I'm not resistant, they can't do that. And they well, can't put their hands on me, and they can't help handcuff me like that. They, that's an assault, you know? Well, they have to handcuff you. No, not if I'm not if, resistant. If doing any, not well, if I'm not aggressive. We don't know that, though. Not if I'm not aggressive, you know? And we know that because the doctor, the, yes, and the doctor released me. Otherwise, they wouldn't have released me. They would have said I was crazy and wild and out. Okay. But they had to release Let me. Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. How did they find you? The, because I had an episode. On Stearns and Pico, okay. I got naked in the intersection, and I was like, you know, doing all this. So then the police came, and then they took. Because I'm gonna run for mayor. No shame. I'm gonna run for mayor. <laughs> and so then they took me in to get evaluated. And when I got evaluated, they realized that I'm saying. Okay, when they're evaluating, you're not agreeing to it. Mike, are mean? you agreeing to the evaluation? Yes, to everything. Yeah. So you're calm. To the nurse, everything calm. I wasn't saying I wasn't aggressive. I wasn't doing anything bad. No, I was all good. And they, and they let me use my phone in the beginning. They let me use my phone to make phone calls and everything. And then they took it away when I told them that I wanted to call the LAPD because they were holding me against my will there. Okay. And then that's when they put me in insurance. But the, the the real big assault happened afterwards when the ten or fifteen of them came and they were all doing this. So I was releasing, releasing, and all of them, all of them, and they threw me to the ground, put their knees on me, put my head down, and everything, and like handcuffs on, only to let me be let, let out. And the only reason I wanted to, they were like, "You gotta leave, you gotta leave," and I'm like, "No, I'm not leaving until I get my phone back and call LAPD." And they didn't give my phone back until the officers came, and then they gave my phone to my to the officers. Okay. 10 or 15? 10 or 15 security officers. So so it's a big, so they know it's a big, big deal. And they had drugged me up to be sedated. But I was so pissed. And it took 10 or 15 of them. And all of them, and then they took me from, from emergency. They put me in a, in a wheelchair. And they took me into the security locker room. In the security locker room, they were waiting for LAPD. In the security locker room, they were talking shit to me. They're like, oh, you don't, I don't have this. And I was like telling them, there was one, uh, I'm under house arrest. And I was telling them that they were pieces of shit. So one, one of the security officers' name I remember is Rain. Rain, his first name, Rain Cateria, his first name. And I was like, oh, Rain, you're a stupid motherfucker. If it was on the streets, I would fuck you up. I would fuck every single one of you guys up on the street. It took 10 of you to get me down, and I wasn't resisting. If I was on the streets, you can't treat somebody like this. Right. You know? Okay. You said they have cameras, they have all that? Everywhere, yes. And then when the police officers came to switch out the cuffs, they're like, what can we do to get you home? I'm like, I don't want to go home. I want these motherfuckers arrested. And then they're like, no, no, no. And then they put, switched the handcuffs on me and pushed me against the locker and made me start bleeding. And then I was like, look, you made me start Were bleeding. You I, I still had the spit match. I wasn't resisting at all. You weren't resisting? Not at all. And so you're saying the officers grabbed you, handcuffed you? Threw me against the locker room. And then afterwards, I'm like, okay, the only way I'll leave 
is if we want, I get home, you arrest each other. They're like, you can't do that. Okay, then if you put the handcuffs on one, I'll be okay out and you can drive me home. They drove me home and then when I got out, they put the handcuff on one of them. Okay. And I was like, you guys are great. And I gave them a hug to both of them. You yeah. have that officer's name? Uh, 